you don't mind, I'll record this for folks who are not able to make it. Um, sure. Um, so yeah, uh, assignments on um, a given week, like weekly um, biology lab notebook assignments. I'll put those out every week, and they'll be you know have you know I imagine at least a week to do them. But they'll be due at a certain time, released at a certain time, due at a certain time. But other other things like the, the book report, um, you could start working on that now, and uh, and and it could be done at your own pace. It's not due until November. So that's kind of one of those larger, higher stakes assignments that you have a long period of time. I'm willing to look at drafts and make suggestions because I, 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 I'm looking for a fairly substantial effort for the book report. But the smaller weekly assignments and the quizzes, they'll be released every week and, and they're smaller stakes. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a mix of, of longer term things. And I, I tried to actually, this is the first time I've, I've taught a completely online class. I mean, last semester was kind of half and half. Um, and so I tried to reduce the number of moving pieces for this course for that very reason. So there's, I think the book report actually is now the only like long standing, many months to work on type thing. And then everything else is going to be um, week by week, smaller stakes type stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, admitting people coming in. Uh, so for, for folks just joining, um, uh, this is basically just a chance to introduce ourselves to one another and, and interact live uh, since um, a lot of the course isn't going to be live. I want, to, I want to extend these opportunities as much as they can, as much as I can, and so we can, we can interact live. Um, but uh, uh, just about in the last few minutes, we've been discussing uh, the nature of the course. Um, uh, Stephen, what was your previous question? I've already forgotten. Um, you know, if um, it was going to be like meeting times. Meeting times, yeah. Um, uh, we're we're not going to have um, specific meeting times once or twice a week, as would be the case for a regular regularly scheduled class. Normally, if this were a class. If this were the regular biology 11 class that's offered um, either at BC Maine or BC Southwest, it would meet on either a Monday or a Wednesday or a Tuesday and a Thursday for a three hour block each, each time. Um, so um, uh, that's not what we're doing this semester. It's, it's, it, the modality is called online flexible. Um, and so I'll still do two lectures every uh, week, but they'll be pre-recorded ahead of time. Um, I'll still try to make the Zoom links available, like, hey, I'm recording now. If, if you get the email, you're more than welcome to join in. So it's, you know, I'll, I'll post the recording for everyone um, so you have it later on. But if someone wants to, hey, you know, uh, Mitchell's recording right now, uh, you know, I think I'll just join in and, 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 and be on the live thing so that, you know, I can ask questions or whatever the case may be. So that way, you know, just trying to leave as much room for online live synchronous interaction as possible, but then also, you know, you know, make it as flexible as possible since I think most most of us have work commitments as well. So, yeah. And then, um, um, and th th those um, live interactions um, are going to be optional. Um, uh, so, you know, not, not counting things like this, or if anyone opportunistically um, hops on a, on a lecture recording, I, I, I will also um, have uh, uh, live study sessions for every unit um, that I'll, I think what, what I'm thinking right now is, you know, feel free to suggest uh, a, a better way of doing it, but I'll probably just send out like a survey monkey, like, hey, you know, how, how about you know, Wednesday, such and such a date after 7 p.m. or Thursday after 7 p.m. And we'll just do the de democratic approach and the, the date and time that most folks can make it, including myself, that's when we'll do it. And those will still be recorded and posted on Canvas. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it works. <laughs> So as far as labs go, we're not going to have to go to the Bakersfield uh, main campus and Okay. Yeah, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure I'm allowed to go to the main campus right now. Um, okay. You no, know, there's, there's, um, 
I think there's only like 12 sections of classes like uh, that, that are allowed to actually um, meet on campus right now. Um, they're all lab classes. I forget, they're, none of them are in biology. I know that. Um, right. but there are very few classes that are allowed to meet in person right now. Um, this is a lab class and so you know, the, you know, the alternative I've come up with um, is, is this biology lab notebook, which was already a part of what I've done in previous semesters, but it's going to take a little bit different form. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're not, we're not even, you know, <laughs> my instincts tell me I should suggest maybe we go meet somewhere, um, you know, like at Windwolf's Preserve or something to go to a hike, but I, I don't even think I'm allowed to suggest we do that uh, just with, with, um, with uh, the, the virus. And so, yeah, it'll, it, it's an online class, um, but you know, it, it'll still have, um, you know, physical components to it. Like uh, one, one week I'd like everyone to go visit a natural field site, for example. Um, and we'll talk more about what that is when we'll reserve being an option. Um, but yeah, yeah, nothing on campus. <laughs> Um, I've actually, this is what's called Flex Week for faculty. So there's just all these workshops going on right now. And I've been taking a few um, on um, like Adobe Spark. And uh, there are all these like video editing um, uh, software. Uh, that <laughs> It's actually a lot of fun. I, I may try to incorporate that into the class. And, and um, I'll, I'll highlight those, those um, and, you know, uh, those opportunities as well for the class in case anyone wants to incorporate some kind of video, video component to your lab notebook um, for folks who are interested. Um, there, it's, it's actually, it, if, if I can figure it out, you can. <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy and it's free. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing stuff like that. Um, anyway, yeah. Any other any other questions uh, I can answer? Uh, um, you might have mentioned this at the beginning, but the micro or the microscope was the only materials that we needed for the yeah. lab. Yeah, actually, um, here here it is right here, um, and so this oh. it's tw it's twenty bucks um, on Amazon, and yeah, I I I wanted to require it I, initially. I put it as optional, um, but um, you know, uh, I, I, I actually figured out how to connect this to my device and share that software on the screen on Zoom. So it actually can be part of, of screen sharing. Um, it's compatible with laptops as well as um, phones and iOS and Android. Uh, and so it's a, pretty, it's a pretty handy little device and it's basically, um, you know, the, you know, in lieu of us being able to meet in a lab room and have, you know, fully mounted uh, microscopes, this is, this is a good alternative. It does, you know, we're not going to be able to see anything at the cellular level, um, but it, you know, it, it gets some pretty decent, you know, it's, it's pretty decent. And so um, you can connect it right up to your phone. And um, I'm, I'm mostly thinking about it in terms of, of um, the biology lab notebook. Um, you know, especially for the microbiology component of the course where we, we really delve into things you can't see with your naked eye. Um, yes, this, this can, you know, be a good thing. You can take it out to a park and, you know, during the initial shutdown period in April, I, this when I first bought this one, and I just was messing around with it in my backyard and seeing all kinds of things. I had no idea were back there, little dust mites you can't see. Um, and so, um, yeah, that's that's why I'm I'm requiring it, um, and I'm you know, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, one other question: um, in the syllabus, I believe it says the book report is ten pages in length, but uh, in the example you posted, it was saying five pages in length. Um, it was a typo, right? It's five pages. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll clear. I'll clarify that. I I decided to make it ten pages because in the past. Um, that's a past student 
um, book report. In the past, I had it at five pages because the course had other components to it, which I, I did away with for this semester. And so I decided to make the book report more substantial in return. And so the example is an, it's not an example in terms of length. It's an example in terms of, you know, quality writing and, and you know, kind of over, overall analysis. Yeah. And, you know, in terms of that 10 pages, um, it doesn't, I'm not necessarily looking for all writing, um, you know, by, 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 you know, by certainly the middle portion of the semester, um, you know, in, in doing the biology lab notebook, you'll have become comfortable with um, various, uh, at least field activities for, for, for um, lab notebooking. So that could incorporate things like um, uh, drawings or pictures or, or um, uh, reflections, um, you know, so it doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, typed you know, the whole thing. It can, it can incorporate other things. You can even incorporate like a video link that you insert into it. It's, it's, I, I, I try to, I kind of want to leave it a little bit. Um, uh, ha, ha, I want you to have some creative freedom for it. Um, you know, uh, yeah. Is that, does that help? Yep. It's kind of one of those things where there, if there's, I mean, it's due in November, so there's a long time to do it. Um, you know, so what, what, what I'm asking for is like 10 pages of a document, but that doesn't mean, yeah, all, all writing. And um, as I said, you know, I, I'm happy to look at drafts uh, multiple times back and forth if you're working on it uh, before it's actually due. In fact, I, I prefer that. So, yeah. Okay. They want to get a chance to um, uh, look at the opening week video that the universe that the college has put out. I think it was at 1 p.m. Um, I think it's recorded on YouTube, um, so it's in the email. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I was just grateful it wasn't at 2 p.m. It was at 1 p.m. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess I could, I mean, I'll, I'll, we'll go over this all again in, in lecture, but, um, uh, my name is Mitchell, by the way, you can feel free to call me Mitchell. You don't need to call me a professor. I'm, 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 I'm a PhD student, uh, at, at UC Riverside. So I'm working towards that doctorate, but not, not quite a doctor yet. Um, I got my master's at CSU Bakersfield. Um, you know, my, my background is in plants, so I'm, I'm an extreme plant nerd. Um, my main job is at Tohon Ranch. And so, um, you, you know, you've probably driven through the grapevine before, which is on Tohon Ranch. And so I'm, I'm the biologist who gets to go hang out up there and do various biological things, uh, which uh, you'll um, hear me say a lot throughout the semester as time goes on. Um, uh, but yeah, um, but, you know, you could try, you could Google it, I, I, the Tohon Ranch Conservancy. Um, um, you know, in a normal semester, um, in the past, I've taken classes up to Tohon Ranch, but and <laughs> fortunately not a possibility right now. So um, that's another thing I'm thinking about doing is having like a virtual Tohon Ranch tour and, and making that like a lab. Um, but uh, I'm still working through exactly uh, how that will work. Um, it'll be interesting. Is anyone having any, um, any concerns about um, the semester, not just for this class, but you know, in terms of like everything being online and so forth? Uh, is, there, is there anything I can help you with before diving in, anything that's unclear? Uh, anything like that? I know it's the same thing for every, everyone's still trying to figure out this new reality. I've only been taking online classes for the last two and a half years, so I'm used to it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm more used to it than I am. I'm, I'm used to face-to-face -face interaction and drawing on a whiteboard and all that stuff. <laughs> 
Yeah, sorry. Oh, <clears throat> I was just going to say in your email, you said the book was re recommended but not required. Is that because you have most of the information on the on Canvas anyway? Yeah, the textbook is is recommended. It's the one that um, the department automatically you know, generate, you know, you know, picks as the biology 11 textbook. I, mm -hmm. I don't require it because we cover all the material in the level that I want to cover in lecture. Um, and uh, um, I also um, will suggest uh, another online resource called Khan Academy, and I'll probably post those videos online as well. Um, the, the reason the textbook is recommended is so that um, if, you know, you know, uh, I am not explaining something in a way that is very helpful or doesn't make sense. You have an, another option to sort of look at something and you know try to you know have it explained from a different different perspective and a different medium. Um, so you know I can recommend certain portions of of certain chapters that correspond to what we'll be talking about. But in terms of the actual class, it'll be you know all, all of the material that um is in the class it, it is going to be covered either in lecture or in lab um it won't be there won't be anything exclusive to the, the textbook okay and then <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry go ahead there's something else on the book list that says uh like bar charts or i don't know what it is it there's like the book or i think that's the book it says six uh, Cam Campbell Essential something something with physiology access and then it has like the laptop and then biology. I don't know. There's three things on there. So I'm just trying to figure out what is the other thing that you put on there. Let me open it up. Um, so one of required course materials, um, the normal stuff, the the notebook, the sketch pad, and the colored pencils, which are all going to be part of um, the um, the lab notebook. Are those links working, by the way? When, like the, oh. the, the hyperlinks? I think I'm looking at something different because I, I don't see any colored pencils. <laughs> I just clicked on the book list. You're there. talking about the stuff that's on the, on the bookshelf. She's talking about the list that the project. All the um, you mean under the book report on Canvas, the book report section, like the suggested book. Um, is I'm not even on Canvas. No, no, no. it's actually on the on the it's on the bookstore under the bookstore oh. website where you go look for uh, DC bookstore. It recommends this book, the laptop, and like a, it's like a cheat sheet for biology, like a lab uh, laminated card or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was asking about. Hmm. Um, yeah, I, I thought I had asked them that j to just have the um, that textbook on there. Uh, may maybe um, the cheat sheet is something that they just put on um, as as an option. It's it's not something I'm aware of. Um, you know, it's not required. No, certainly not required. Yeah. So um, yeah, you know. You know, the, the syllabus is is the document that I put together. That those are the things I'm I'm thinking about. Um, um, but yeah, there there is um, there was a question about um, the the uh, edition of the textbook. Um, uh, the 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 edition I have is the fifth edition, um, and so um, there is a sixth edition now that came out. I think in 2019 or 2018. They're essentially the same. The chapter numbers are the same. It's like a, another, like a, a different picture here in this chapter, like or, or a, a different review question list in the next chapter. It's very, very similar to the original. Um, and so I think in one of the original, in, in the original syllabus that I put out, it, I recommended the fifth edition. But if you get the sixth edition, it really, it really doesn't matter. Um, um, yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, share screen here. Where is it? 
Okay, so are you, are you seeing that, the, the syllabus? Okay. So this is the, um, this is the edition that's on Canvas right now. And so um, here, here are the things that are required. And then I've, I've, I've since bumped the uh, microscope up to required. Uh, the, the textbook, um, this should be the most up-to-date version available and that as the ISBN should be correct. Yeah. And um, I've been, uh, where did that go? I've been adding some things to um, Canvas over the last day or so, right here. Um, so I, I added this announcements and discussion board, um, added some stuff for the notebook, stuff for the book report, and this, none of this is published yet, only I can see that. Um, this will be where quizzes and stuff will be. Um, but yeah, th these, th these are all here for you. Um, what I've been doing, I think a couple of the folks on the call are ones who've been asking questions. What I've, what I've been doing is anytime I get a really good question um, over, uh, over email, I'm, I'm posting the, the questions and then the answers um, right here. Um, just removing your name so it's not, you know, not disrupting privacy or anything. But if, if you want to ask a question publicly, um, feel free to use this um, as well. Um, so, you know, I've, I've been the only one using it so far, but, you know, if you want to create your own um, question, all you have to do is click on this, this thing here and then, you know, tap right in your, your, um, your question and, and then hit post reply and it'll generate it. I get a little notification and I can respond there and the whole class can see it. Uh, so, you know, feel free to use that if you would like. And then, um, what happened here? Let's see. There we go. Um, the same thing with announcements and discussion. Um, they're, they're all they're all they're all discussion type uh, modules. And then um, these are. And I'm going to talk a lot more about the lab notebook um, the, the first week in terms of what the expectations are and things like that. But I just I started out by just posting a few um, resources here. Um, these are all actually from one of my colleagues at the ranch at the home. Um, they, you know, she's a retired uh, teacher, um, and she's really into into notebooking. And so I, I have adapted the materials that she used. Uh, Paula is her name. She may actually join us for a lab or two, and her son actually is a, is a virologist at UC Berkeley and he studies coronavirus. Uh, I think, I, I think I'm, I'm trying to convince him to do a lab with us. So he, he gives us a tour of his lab, um, which should be, should be highly relevant in, the, in, the, in, in, this, in this current situation. Um, anyway, I digress. These things are, are um, hers. I just posted them here as examples for you. And then if you look under video instructions uh, for the lab notebook, um, these are, these are just helpful resources for you. This is actually my colleague Paula right here, um, showing you, um, the, you know, the kind of broad ethos behind nature journaling, and and um, formatting, like how to set up you know, your notebook. These are these are the broad um, format. Th this is the broad format that I'm going to ask um, you for your lab notebook to do. So you can take a look at these um, at these videos. And uh, that'll, you know, you know, help, you know, you know, solidify things. And again, I'll talk more about it um, during lab next week. Um, but I just posted them there um, just to get started. Um, what else have I done? I haven't. Well, and then um, look, the things in the book report, like I said, you've noticed the the example. Um, you know, some tips. Um, which gives you some options. You know, you could, you could, you could, <laughs> you could, you could stay up all night tonight and write the entire book report and turn it in tomorrow if you wanted to. I mean, you, you could, this is where you turn it in. Um, but that's about it. That's that's all that I that I've got ready so far. 
Um, yeah, the remaining the remaining bits will be filled in as time goes on. Everyone have a good summer? All things considered? Yes, I no. Was in California. I, I don't live in California right now. I'm in Utah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I actually just visited California, but this is actually a good opportunity for me to take this class online because I don't, I'm from Bakersfield, but I don't live there right now. So. Well, yeah, it's a good actually time. Good. It's a good time to, uh, to not live in Bakersfield yet still be a Bakersfield College student. <laughs> yeah. Do you do you happen to know if they have any plans for next semester? If it's still going to be online, or they just don't know yet? Don't my yet. department head, my department head has um, said he's really skeptical of of spring being an on campus semester either. That's his prediction. Mm -hmm. um, so um, he 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 would be the one to know. He's been at BC for like thirty years. Um, so yeah, I think next spring we're looking at the same thing. Okay. Um, but, you know, who knows, you know, you know, who knows? Um, yeah. Um, I know I'm, I, well, I know, I already know, I, you know, you know, uh, for, for me, I'm already teaching the same thing next semester, the same modality. So it's whether or not, um, the, the, the district decides to open up more classes, um, on campus remains to be seen, but at least in terms of biology, it's probably going to be more of this, at least for, at least for spring. I don't know, may, maybe even the next fall. Just depends on um, on the global numbers of the of the virus and whether or not there's a vaccine. Whether or not you know that you know probably a big bullet point list of of items that you know who knows who knows. Portable College has already said that they will open up next semester only for the lab classes and you have to be screened and wearing masks and they're limiting the class size to like 12 to 15 students and they're the only people that will be allowed on campus is just the lab students. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there, that was how it was going to be for some biology classes. There was They were, they were calling it the on-campus hybrid modality, where mm -hmm. a lot of the class was gonna be online, but then labs could meet in person, but have like maybe five people per lab. And that was that was how it originally started, but then they put the kibosh on that pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. and I think maybe it's anatomy, um, which uh, there's an anatomy that biology teaches, but then there's an anatomy class that forestry actually teaches. And I think that they are meeting on on campus the semester at BC Maine. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's great that well, you know, see how Porterville College there that sounds like they're ahead of the curve um, in, ter in terms of um, their decision making process, but definitely at BC Maine. I, I, I um, mostly teach at BC Southwest on, on, on normal um, for the past year. Um, so that's definitely Definitely not going to be open anytime soon. Uh, but <laughs> by the time BC Southwest opens up again, it'll probably be a permanent building. Um, <laughs> that's because they're building it right now. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Um, nice to get a chance to, you know, interact live. Um, I. Uh, want to emphasize that I am 100% available at any point. You can email me. You can uh, we we can do you can I can I can we can have office hours and have one-on-one uh, -on -one Zoom calls if you like. Just let me know. Um, um, yeah. So um, you know much much more will will, will come out as uh, as this definitely next week. Um, but yeah, you know, please, you know, let me know, um, you know, if there's anything I can do um, to, to help in any way. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's about, it's about you, you guys. Uh, so if, if I'm, if I'm not doing a good job of communicating, then, you know, please call me out on it and we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it addressed. Well, thank you. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, talk to everyone next week. All right.
See you later. Bye. Bye.